guys welcome back to Jesse on the go in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you my newborn essentials the things that have let me survive this first month with baby malcolm oh it's been a whirlwind it's been it's like really honestly gone by so fast so um you know babies newborn babies especially um less than a month old all they do is eat sleep poop and a little bit of play so i'm gonna start with the big one which is sleep um, the biggest thing that has helped me um, with Malcolm is finding the perfect swaddle. Now, I'm going to do a big disclaimer over this whole video. What works for Malcolm, what works for me, the way I parent, the way his personality is, what works for us may or may not work for you. I'm not saying my way is the best way. I'm not saying this is the best thing in the whole wide world um, for your child or the way you parent or the way you know anything like that so just take everything i say is what it's what's worked best for me my family malcolm the way we parent the way he sleeps the way we do things it works best for us i'm not dissing anything else that you may or may not do so let's just jump right into it um i originally i originally bought these little swaddles i i don't know the brand what is it aiden and anise i guess zero to three months i bought these i brought it to the hospital i didn't know that these little arm flaps came out like i feel like this isn't really that great for a newborn i guess zero to three months i guess three months they want their arms out i don't know but malcolm hated these he likes to sleep with his arms up so he would wiggle his little arms out and then he would get that little reflex where it would wake him up constantly these were a disaster luckily i only bought two of these it came in a two pack but this was unfortunately a waste of money for Malcolm because these did not work for the way he liked to be swaddled. Also, we swaddled um, them him the way they did in the hospital with a blanket. That didn't work very well either because he would wiggle his little arms out. So I actually looked this up on Amazon. I bought this on July 4th, <laughs> the, the day after he was born. He was born on July 3rd. This is the Love to Dream Swaddle Up Original in a small. This is eight to 13 pounds. And I just bought the next size up for him in the same type of swaddle because he is gaining weight like crazy. This allows them to sleep with their arms up, but also restricts them from like doing that, um, that reflex that they do, when, you know, when they're sleeping on their back, he is sleeping on his back and this has helped tremendously. <laughs> he sleeps like this in his little cocoon. My husband calls it the straight jacket, but this has basically helped me, um, like help us sleep better at night. I mean, that's the most important thing. It's helping us sleep better at night. So I ended up buying two of these, one that can go in the laundry, one that's always ready to go. Um, and he loves this thing. And I don't know, I, like I said, I just bought the next size up. This is been a huge help for us. And I love this so much. They are a little bit expensive. I think they're like 30 bucks a piece, but worth it for a good night's sleep. Next up for having a good night's sleep is a sound machine. And I ended up getting this Hush mobile sound machine. Um, you can take this with you in the car. You can take this with you um, in your stroller. Right now, I just have it right next to his bassinet, which is where he is sleeping right now. I'll share with you the bassinet we're using. But this thing is awesome. It's loud. Hold on, there we go. It's super loud. Um, and I don't even think this is all the way loud. It has different modes. different kind of settings. Um, you can also lock it so that the kid can't mess with it if the kid gets a little bit older. Um, but I, this is one of two sound machines that we have. This is the one that I've been using since he, since the hospital, since he came home. This is the one I showed in my, what I have in my hospital bag. And this thing is the bomb.com. But I also um, wanted to get the hatch um, sound machine and light. So we ended up getting that think last week just because I really wanted we were using the TV on screensaver mode to have like low light in the room but it was still just kind of that blue bright light it really wasn't working for us so I went ahead and bit the bullet and got the hatch sound machine and light and I love that thing it automatically comes on at 9 30 I'm not using the sound machine um, aspect of that yet I'm just using the light for now but when he moves into his room um, we will use that for um, 
light and sound and then we'll just save this for on the go their sounds are very similar so i'm not afraid of like switching over as far as the sound machines it sounds this has the same sort of static tv ocean kind of wave sound that the hatch has as well so i'm not worried about switching over to that but that thing is amazing um so those things um, in conjunction with his bassinet. His bassinet is so cool. The first night that we came home from the hospital, I was like, I don't know about this thing. I don't know. I think it's because we didn't have the right swaddle, but when all the powers combined, the sound machine, the um, swaddle and the bassinet and a full belly of milk, um, it, it makes us have a wonderful, like, I had to wake him up last night because the pediatrician said don't let him go over five hours um, without eating. So it was coming up on five and a half hours and I was like, all right, I'm going to try and wake this baby up so he can eat. But I think if I hadn't woke him up, he would have slept almost all the way through the night, which would have been amazing. But I'm trying to follow, like I said, what the pediatrician said. He's a chunky boy. He's gaining weight like crazy. So... I don't know. I've always heard don't wake a sleeping baby, but he's so young and already trying to sleep through the night that I don't know. I just didn't want to mess him up by starving him. I guess letting him go longer than he was supposed to, um, even though I don't know. I'm more of an instincts baby cues type of mom where I like listen to them. He will wake up when he is hungry. Um, but I was just trying to follow pediatrician's guidelines. Anyway, that's like a hard line to like go on. Use your own instincts. Use your own mama instincts. I'm a third time parent, third time mama. So I kind of know what's going on, but it's been such a long time that I'm like trying to listen to guidelines and listen to like the modern sort of way of raising your baby as well. So I have the Graco um, Move and Soothe. There is also an Agraco Sense to Soothe where it can detect the baby's cry and start rocking um, like that, but I just have the move to soothe and he basically rocks all night and has the vibration on all night. Will that come back to bite me in the butt later? Maybe, but for now, it works wonderful for a newborn good night's sleep. Another thing that is super important is having multiple uh, sets of sheets. So I have two sets of waterproof bassinet sheets, one in case he spits up or like his diaper leaks or something happens, um, it's easily to change. That's good. Cause I don't like them like sleeping in toiled stuff. Like I like to make sure that he um, has a nice and clean smelling like happy place to sleep at night so next i think that's all as far as sleep goes um i'll add in anything if i forget uh next up is eat and this thing is super important this is just a baby tracker now you can do apps do whatever like works best for you whether it's using an app or um paper and pen like i like this thing basically what it is i'll show you a blank day um it's like this right here and it'll show you the night and day and you can sh show when your naps are how long your naps are if you're nursing you can right or left if you're um, bottle feeding um, how many ounces a diaper change you can write down how many wet diapers a day how many poopy diapers the consistency and play you can say if he had x amount of tummy time etc etc i really like this thing especially since you know we're really like all kind of um, feeding and playing and doing wake time. So like when I write down in here, last time he ate, my husband will know when it is. Um, or if there's a poopy or if there's a concern that I need to address with the pediatrician. When we do have pediatrician days, I write down his, um, his height and weight and any notes that the pediatrician might have told me. I don't know, this thing has been like invaluable to us. We love using this. My husband at first thought it was really silly. And then I explained to him like, I have mom brain like I have serious mom brain I can't remember I was like when was the last time he ate he's like I don't know I was like it's important because we want to make sure he's getting fed the correct amount in the time frame and also like tracking diapers like it gets it to be like such a blur like you want to make sure he has enough wet diapers to make sure he's not de dehydrated um as far as like baby poop is concerned <laughs> you want to make sure that he's um you know pooping uh regularly and color and consistency and all that stuff so um, this helps me massively with the mom brain. Some people might not need this at all. Some people might think this is silly for, for, for me, for the phase that I am in life where I can't remember anything anymore. This is super helpful for me. And as far as feeding, um, I chose to go with these Nook bottles and these are the Simply Natural ones. 
I had picked these out prior to me deciding to do um, formula. So I picked these out because they said that this is um, a really good battle for um, breastfeeding babies because it just mimics uh, the nipple and the way the, um, the, I guess, breast milk or formula or whatever the liquid comes out because it's three um, different tiny nipples, um, holes in the nipple instead of just one um, flow of liquid coming out. So, um, but you know, since we are formula feeding, sorry, I guess I spilled something on my shirt. Since we are formula feeding, um, this is nice too. I don't know. We're just still using these bottles. It has a good flow for him to come out. It has the little air vent up top to prevent colic. I chose these because um, my sister used the Dr. Brown's bottles, I think. It has just so many moving parts. Like it has so many parts to clean and everything. I just was not into it. Um, and I always liked the Nook brand. Like we use the Nook pacifiers as well. Um, we usually use those only for sleep as well. I guess I should have added that in with the sleep. The pacifier for sleeping um, helps self-soothe. So I really like the Nook brand as far as the bottles go. Um, and I use um, distilled water um, room temperature. He doesn't get heated bottles or anything fancy. And we, we use these little um, pre-measurement cups. Uh, for the formula so that is easy. I set these up in the morning with the correct amount of formula and then all we have to do is go get a bottle, um, dump this in, shake it up, let it sit for about five minutes or so before feeding it to him to let all the, the bubbles settle to the bottom and he's ready for food and anybody can do this. This is set up in the morning so that if my daughter's like, I'm, I'm gonna feed him a bottle. All right, go ahead, go set it up, go do it. She can go make a bottle without having to ask me or like, you know, I'm the one responsible for setting this up. So anybody around town in the house, um, if we're out on the go, anybody can feed him. Anybody, meaning my family, can feed him without worrying about how much formula needs to go in or if it needs to be heated up or like any of that. He can just, he can eat it and scrape in the middle of the night. I just set this right up on our little changing um, station area and he's good to go. Next up for feeding is the Boppy. I love this Boppy and I also got the, uh, these really cute covers on Amazon. So like I said, I like having covers and things that can um, easily be washed. So I got a couple, I have a navy blue and then I bought this, um, this um, gray color. And I like this because it just fits right around and he can sit here and I can feed him and it's nice. And I have some place to put my arms, especially in the rocking chair and the glider and everything. Um, which I will talk about as well um, but this is super helpful for feeding and then also when you are postpartum um, coming home directly from the hospital you can sit on this to kind of help you know have a little cushion underneath underneath your butt when you're coming home after um, delivering baby so this is super helpful I know some people like the breast friend I know some people like different varieties of this but I really like the boppy I had one with um, both of my other kids and um, I don't know this is super helpful i guess another thing that goes with feeding is my the way i wash and sterilize my bottles i bought this little tub off of amazon and i put i rinse all the bottles and then i put them in this particular tub that way it keeps it separate from my um my sink area and i really like the way i do that um i wash them separately i wash them by hand and then i have this um tommy tipper sterilizer and it sterilizes the bottle in five minutes it's amazing now i know i could just use top rack of dishwasher or hand wash or just boil them on the pot this just works for me this works for me um our dishwasher is always full so i don't want to have to worry about keeping my dishwasher clean um and then the dishwasher cycles take a really really long time it literally takes me mm, maybe five ten minutes to wash all the bottles and then five minutes a piece to sterilize them and then fill them and then they're ready to go so this is what works for me it may not work for you you may not like that system but like i said it's my way is not the right way it's just what works best for me um, but i really really like it like um at first it seems like it takes forever but honestly when you get on a roll and you're like washing them real quick um, letting them dry and then they can stay sterilized in the sterilizer if you don't lift the top up for 24 hours. So if before bed I'm like, ah, I don't need to um, 
fill these bottles yet. I have enough. I can just leave them in there and they'll stay fine. In the morning I can come put the correct amount of water and get them all set up for the day. So I really, really like that system. All right, so I think that is, I think that's it for feeding. Um, we got sleep, feed. Um, next up is changing and I'll show you my changing station that I got in the bedroom. And this thing is amazing for the middle of the night, like perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, the only thing that I, bought that was kind of silly it was a changing pad cover that didn't last like the first night because he like peed all over it and pooped on it so I was like I am not gonna wash and dry these all the time like I don't know so uh basically we just took those off and I'll put them on if we have like people coming over and I wanted to like make it look nice but for everyday practicality I just put a um a receiving blanket on there so it's not so cold against him and we change on that and that way if that gets messed up I can throw it right in the laundry I'm not fussed about it um and I have so many that's another thing I have a ton of receiving blankets those things work for sleeping like he can be swaddled in those those things work for eating because you can burp burp them um and um play time you can lay it on the floor and he can play um tummy time on that um and changing because you can use it to um lay over the mat or like if you're out and about and you need to change them somewhere and they're like kind of like disposable as in if you have a bunch of them you're not worried about oh no this is the only one i have like you can just throw it in the wash and not a big deal um so definitely have a ton of receiving blankets because i thought i got too many i got the perfect amount we go through those so much like like i wash a ton of those every single day and i try to do a, lo a load a day if not every other day, um, just so that I can keep up with all the baby boy laundry. So that little changing table caddy, I absolutely love. I keep it stocked with um, his diapers, his wipes. I have the little hatch nightlight on it. Um, I have his lotions for after bath time. I have some Q-tips for his ears to like make sure he doesn't get any um, like water in his ears after bath. Um, I have some hand sanitizer because in the middle of the night you just want to make sure you're sanitizing. Then I, before, I like to sanitize my hands, I pick the baby up, I put him back to bed, then I'll go wash my hands because um, I don't want to leave him on the changing table in the middle of the night. So that is super helpful. I also keep a bag of trash bags there. Um, and then right next to the changing station is a small little step trash can. Um, and then also his diaper pail. Now I was on the fence about a diaper pail. I had a diaper pail with Gabriel. I don't think I used one with Madeline. Um, but in this house, I definitely wanted a diaper pail because the kitchen trash is like all the way on the other side of the house. And in the middle of the night, I just want something that I can put right in there. And so far he's had, I mean, he has like infant poops so they don't like smell like grown human poops yet <laughs> if that makes any sense um so it does a great job of keeping the smell because this is our bedroom like I don't want our bedroom to smell like baby poop it does a great job of keeping the smell away it also has that little um arm and hammer puck thing that's up at the top um and and we also have our air purifier right next to that um as well just so it can kind of help with any um any kind of smells that might get out but so far so good like I don't smell anything it's really super handy and I really really like it um the only thing is we're going through um it came the with the package it came with one of the um big refills and then it came with a bunch of the, just like the single refills and I have to say I think I am going to spend the money on the bigger thicker refills um than um cheaping out and getting like the the little thin refills if that makes sense I don't know I really like our system that we have right in there um and then obviously when he goes out of our room when he's sleeping through the night and I don't have like a like get scared of like all his little baby noises um and he comes into this room I'll move um the changing um caddy in here and the diaper pail and all that stuff will be right in here and it's just a doorway away so um, as he grows and as we evolve in the way we do things, I will have to update you guys, but, um, so far, 
this system is working out great. So as far as as far as like play goes, he's not really playing with anything, obviously. Um, but my brother and sister-in-law um, got me this round white little um, mat and we've been using that a ton for tummy time. I just recently got him a little play mat. Um, he's not really interested in it too much, but I figured it's a start. At least he'll have something to kind of look up at, um, when he is on his back. And of course he only lasts probably five to 10 minutes doing that kind of thing. Um, he gets tired of that really easily. Um, he loves his swing. He loves to swing when he is awake and he also loves, um, to like take little cat naps in that, um, just so that I can like get some bottles done or like clean around him. I don't leave him in there unattended um or anything like that for very long like if i'm in the kitchen i can always just pop my head over and he's always strapped in but he loves the swing you know some babies they like motion some babies don't my baby loves motion let me tell you he loves motion speaking of motion i bought this really kind of inexpensive um wrap off of amazon and that has also been a lifesaver as far as needing to get things done around the house um i think i showed it in one of the vlogs uh, a couple of vlogs back um and that thing has helped me get a lot of things done around the house. And it's so sweet to just have him all cuddled up. He can hear my heartbeat. He can feel do a little bit of skin to skin. And I can get, you know, dinner done and get the bottles washed. Um, uh, what else? Uh, oh, his bouncer seat. His bouncer seat is something that I put him in if we're trying to eat or do something in the kitchen really fast. He doesn't like it because it doesn't move. He definitely likes to be rocked. He likes to be moving. Um, and a lot of people have said it's probably because I was so active in pregnancy. And I think that is kind of the thing that's going on is that he needs to be in motion. Um, he is going to be probably just a crazy little boy who runs around and is gets into everything and I really honestly can't wait. I'm so excited to watch him grow up and learn and um, do all the things. But so far, those are the things that um, have got me through this first month. Those are the things I recommend and I like um, and has really helped us create a great schedule. Also, another great thing um, is uh, Instagram. They have a lot of um, free advice. I haven't taken any like courses or anything like that. Um, if we get to a point where he's not sleeping through the night, I'm not gonna discount courses at all or like any kind of paid advice. But for right now, um, I've been um, following Taking Care of Babies, Healthiest Baby. I think there's a couple other on Instagram that just kind of give like little insights and little things about um, your baby based on age and, and, and like helpful little tints and hints and things like that. And also Google is your friend. I have Googled why is my baby's poo a certain color or why, um, what is a proper wake window for a baby because he just like would eat and I go right back to sleep. And I'm like, is that normal? Like, isn't he supposed to be up for a little bit? And honestly, his wake window is about 45 minutes to an hour right now, um, where he's just, you know, he'll hang out with me and whatever, but then he is ready to go to bed. And if he doesn't get put down to sleep, he will uh, be overtired and super fussy. So um, keeping a schedule, which that little book definitely helps us keep a schedule, um, has been a lifesaver. So hopefully I covered everything. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, a little insight on to baby Malcolm. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. And um, I will see you next time.